list here. So, EA finally has competition. I would put, like, celebrate some freaking songs that I want to play Ooh, right God, now. God, God. Ooh, but God. I can't because I'd be knocked off YouTube. So, let's just enjoy this moment together with a uh, silent thought of joy. Okay, so... I don't know what's the biggest news in football gaming history, whether it be the NCAA getting a game back or Madden getting competition, but whatever one's the bigger one, this one's huge, all right? So 2K making a return to NFL video games, but not a Madden competitor. We'll get into why they, they say not a Madden competitor uh, in a little bit. So we're going to go through the news, then give our thoughts on it and everything that goes along with it. A super exciting day for football fans everywhere there we go all right so 2k is getting back and officially licensed I, I read a few articles about this but i thought this one was the best by polygon um they're getting back to the officially licensed football game video business um having struck a multi-year partnership now obviously this is great right right now though they only have teams right they have the league they got to still approach the uh nfl players association they got to work with them i think this this article gets into depth about that uh, a little bit i'll link it in the description uh but don't call it a comeback the deal is for non-simulation football game experiences so what does that mean i think that's basically the crux of this like oh is it really going to be that okay because 2k has done other non-simulation sports franchises before we've seen some 2k uh what is this battle uh well sorry playgrounds 2 is, is is this clip right here i'll just i'll just i'll just go ahead and play it um, so, like, these are, like, non-simulation style basketball, right? So, something like this could come back. Something like Rocket League is non-simulation style soccer. Basically, you take a ball, shoot it in the goal. So, the, 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 the possibilities for this are endless for non-simulation. Whether it's on next-gen console, whether it's on mobile, we don't know. They didn't make a specific mention of where it's going to be. So, with that, back to the, back to the article. Uh, actually, I'll just close that stuff. So... Electronic Arts Man NFL Series remain the only simulation game, football game in town. You might be worried about that. You're like, oh, I don't really feel like just playing NFL Street again. Even though Street was a EA product, it was, uh, I mean, it could still be done again. Uh, but the agreement between 2K and the NFL, which the parties did not disclose financial terms, produced multiple, multiple video games centered around fun, approachable, and social experiences. Social is always kind of weird to me. It always reminds me of like, Facebook games, and I'm like, ooh. That suggests that the publisher will focus on making games and arcade-style sports title invader of Saber and Actives NBA Playgrounds 2. There he is. I just showed a video of it. Uh, various games are in early development, so they really start, they're going to release them starting in 2021. Now, what's kind of cool about this is that like once they start releasing the games in 2021, further down in the article, it talks about the exclusive license for simulation going away. EA's existing deal is expected to expire at the... I can't speak. Existing deal is set to... I'm just so excited. At the end of the 2021 NFL season, i.e. in early 2022. So, they could lay the groundwork. Now, other like non-simulation style NFL games would be 7-on-7, seven seven, right? Can you imagine a 7-on-7 seven seven, uh, game in 2021? And then they like... Obviously, there, there might be some park there too. Like NBA uh, 2K has that like famous park that they love. That they, I mean, basically is the biggest mode in their game. Um, they have, uh, you know, I talked about NFL Street and stuff. So there's multiple ways they can go about it. But like if you start an NFL uh, seven on seven type of base game in 2021 because it's not simulation, then you could easily branch that into 2022 once you start once the rights get opened up and they could acquire the rights into making a full 11 on 11. So if it becomes non-exclusive simulation rights that year which I'm sure EA is going to fight tooth and nail for. But hopefully the NFL, with their statement below saying, we are super, uh, they're, they're, sorry, let me just read it word for word. Expanding the NFL's presence into the world of gaming has become a focus for the league as we look to grow the next generation of our fan base, says Joe uh, Ruggiero. I don't, Ruggiero. I don't know how to say it. Senior Vice President of Consumer Products of the NFL and reviving our partnership with 2K was a natural step in that effort. NFL is super smart with this. Now, we gave them a lot of crap because they haven't done as good a job as NBA and a lot of stuff uh, with promoting their game on, a, on a, a wide scale. But gamers are the next generation. Like, you go invest in the sport when you're playing the video game, when you put multiple hours into it. So having more competition, having more many people play different like uh, football games grows the NFL brand. So they're smart and they'll be smart to open that exclusivity license up because I don't 
think the revenue from the license is going to go down with two people now paying you. Maybe from the one party it goes down, but if two people pay you $30 million, where one person paid you $40 million, your net profits also go up. So that is there. Now, like I talked about, the NFLPA, the Players Association, still has to get on board. And they say they didn't make any comment whether they're working with the, the Players Association or not. So that's still up in the air if they can actually use the players' names. But, you know, that's business. It takes a while. We got that new collective bargaining agreement, NFLPA. I know it's kind of like, you know, that's first. That's the big thing. So maybe that's got to be worked on still in the coming years once that's over with or coming, you know, months. But hopefully 2K can get that players' agreement. They can get some legends signed on, be, uh, on board just like they used to have the old uh, 2K All-Pro games. Um, so... I am super excited. 2K8, they basically had old legends like Elway. They couldn't use NFL stuff back then. Um, some people were like, well, this wasn't really a simulation because it didn't have a lot of the uh, players. But this was kind of a simulation type of game. So anything like uh, like 11 on 11, I'm guessing, can't be done, right? Even like, like a lot of people are like, oh, Madden is nothing but arcade. And, and you're right with abilities, with these superstars, with matchup nightmare. Even though we see like Gronk. Or Megatron matchup nightmaring the hell out of DBs IRL. Um, there is a lot of like, is Madden actually simulation when there's so many arcadey aspects? Yes, it's still technically simulation as much as we hate to hate to call it that because there's so many things that are so unrealistic, like just calling stretch or roll out corners, destroying every single logic in the game. I for one am super hyped, but I think that does kind of like come down to the what is simulation, what is everything, and like what what goes on with like franchise, right? How can they? How can they had OJ? I like that. Um, how can they have franchise in the mode? Is the, in the game? Will they? Will we have a franchise simulation, or is that too much close to the NFL and simulation? Because EA's just abandoned their franchise. Right? I think 2K has a better franchise mode than uh, EA does. So, will they have a franchise mode going forward? If they do, that's awesome because that means EA might dedicate resources to franchise mode. That would be hot going forward. Um, what about Ultimate Team? You know, 2K wants to monetize this thing. Like, right? Like, back, people speculated back in the day, 2K lost a lot of their rights to the game because they charge only $20 for it. So, would 2K... I mean, the smart move in gaming in, in current year is to basically make it free to play then charge after, like, Fortnite with either cosmetics or microtransactions for, like, the pay-to-win, like, Ultimate Team. And that seems to be 2K's way forward. Like, they're, they're pretty bad up with microtransactions. Now, I haven't played... 2k20 but a lot of people do not like the gameplay do not like a lot of the microtransactions and the business of it but you'd think it, uh, going in as like the competitor like they were in 2k5 they kind of like they, they weren't selling as well as madden so they, they slashed the price in order to kind of catch up and you think to uh 2k would do something similar unless the nfl says hey no so like having that kind of communication with the nfl and like being able to offer a free product obviously will get them a lot of market share and a lot of people buying their game, downloading, sorry, downloading the game, not buying it, obviously, if it's zero dollars. And then spending on cosmetics, spending on, you know, the mutt, uh, pay to win type of aspect. So 2K's, uh, was it my team type mode? It would be in uh, 2K's, uh, 2K uh, football's type of team. So we'll see, of course, going forward what 2K has, whether you like it or not. That's up to be decided. Like, obviously, the last game we saw was over like a, a decade plus ago. So, and, and it shut down. 2K, I know 2K5 is still well regarded by the audiences, by the, the player base of uh, football that played it back in the day. But we'll see. Obviously, that code's not going to carry over, so they got to rebuild the whole thing, but it is in early development. So, everything is just making me so excited, so titillated. We got a year plus to wait, and man, it's going to be a good time. Competition breeds excellence! So... Please, let's both become better. Like, I don't want, like, as much as a lot of people want the downfall of EA Sports and Madden, I don't want it to go anywhere, right? If it ends up being like they fall by the wayside and that goes away, that's just bad. I want both teams, both studios investing, trying to one-up each other, like back in the day. Like, those those video games for their time, some of the best sellers, and Madden to this day is one of the best-selling video games. It's like top 10 every year. But, like, some, like, a, a cultural phenomenon, 04 and 05, where... And, and they've kind of fallen off since then. So having that competition back, I think, is just going to be nothing but uh, good for gamers. But that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about 2K coming back into the market with non-simulation style football. Are you as excited as I am? I hope so. 
you know, maybe with this news, then 2K is going to get to an NCAA also. They had one of those games. That was like 20 years ago or just under 20 years ago. They had NCAA too. So more competition, more greatness for us and consumers and choices. Capitalism at its finest. All right. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.